So anytime that you are styling your hair, you have to know what your desired end goal is. Because with that knowledge of what you want, and what you have, you can work towards getting those desired results. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Clear Curls. I am Crystal. Today I am going to show you how I got this nice, fluffy, voluminous wash and go. And it is with a brand that I have used numerous of times and are now revisiting now that they have changed their packaging and that is Curl Mix. And if you know Curl Mix, it is a four step wash and go system and the hold for it is a medium hold. So it starts off with a shampoo and then a conditioner and then it goes into a wash and go moisturizer as well as a wash and go flaxseed gel. And like I just stated, it is with medium hold. So I have used this brand before. They are a proven brand. They are a proven system that works for naturals who want simplicity. You can get it done in those four steps and come on out of the shower. Last night, I washed my hair from beginning to end, like from beginning to end of styling was an hour and 40 minutes. An hour and 40 minutes. Amazing time in my eyes. Amazing time in my eyes. Um, and then I sat under the dryer for about an hour and then I tied up my hair and went to bed. But uh, let's just start from the beginning. I went in with the shampoo. Now the thing that I really, really love about Curl Mix Shampoo is it is very creamy. It is very creamy. You can literally finger detangle like very easily with this shampoo and, and it is very cleansing as well as moisturizing. I always love using the shampoo. I've had two other systems before this one. Same thing, love the creaminess and the lather that I always get with their shampoo. Then next up is their conditioner. And this conditioner is very moisturizing. It has a lot of good slip, uh, a lot of good coverage where you feel like you can put it on your hair. All I did was add a little bit of water and that slip was out of this world. And with the ease of it, I'm able to detangle my hair in 15 to 20 minutes. I was nine days post wash day of my previous wash day. I was able to do my detangling in about 15 to 20 minutes with the conditioner. It has really good slip and it is very moisturizing. I let this sit on my hair under a plastic cap for about five minutes and then I proceeded to wash it out. And so after washing it out, uh, you can definitely feel that it is conditioned. And what I did was I went right in with the moisturizer. Now I'm gonna say this, I used too much water. I used too much water. Medium hole. I actually like medium hole gels. Um, I just, I'm not a firm hole person at all. And so I really do enjoy medium hole gels. However, sometimes I need to go lighter on the water so that I can get just a little bit more hold with my products. And this was one of those cases. Um, I haven't used Curl Mix in maybe a year, maybe about a year now. It may have not been that long, but I, I would say about a year. And the thing about using a medium hold gel for me is I have to be really on point with my water to product ratio. So 
the mistake I made, and I'll show it here. The mistake I made was going in and drenching my hair with the water before adding the moisturizer. When in actuality, I should have just let uh, how wet it already was suffice. Um, but by adding that much more water and then the moisturizer on there, I have already decreased the amount of hole that I am likely to get. So with each section, I added water to it and then put on the moisturizer. And as I raked through the moisturizer, making sure that it covered the entire section. And then I moved on and continued all four sections. Then it was time to go in with the gel. Well, as soon as I went in with the very first section, I could immediately tell I used too much water. Like I used too much water. I wasn't really getting the clumping that I wanted. Um, and because I've used curl mix before, I knew that my water to product ratio was off. And so I tried to squeeze a little bit of the water out um, and then add more gel and I was able to, you know, bring it back to where I like to see my hair. So I was able to go through all the sides. Because I started on this side, it was, you know, more drenching wet than this side was by the time I got to it. So by the time I got to my back right side, where some of that water, you know, had kind of left the hair and I kind of gave it a little squeeze before I added on my gel. And I was able to see immediate, you know, the immediate clumping like I'm used to. So in no way <laughs> am I blaming the products in any way. Like I said, I've used Curl Mix before numerous of times and it is very true that once you stop getting used to a product and you don't remember, you know, how you have to use it, then you can end up with a case where maybe you don't get your desired results. But what I did was after I set this side, I kind of went back on this side and kind of just went back through with just a little bit more gel to... Uh, create a little bit more clumping on this side since I felt like I had finally gotten it right on my right side. So um, then I got under the dryer and uh, va -va. Boom. you see this volume it is a lot and it is how I like it when I use medium hole gels. I like it fluffy. I don't want it stiff. I don't want it to look like ramen noodles. I don't want it to look stringy. I want it full and voluminous and just, you know, full of body. I want it full of body and that's exactly what I got. And so here you can see, I'm just going to scoot up just a little bit to show uh, the curl definition that I did get along with the volume. So I am loving my results and it is just the look that I was going for. And even though I was worried about um, the fact that I kind of went back in with this section. And to me, they look very similar, which means my water to product ratio, I kind of was able to fix by going back in and resetting some of the curls. The flaxseed gel, if you've never worked with flaxseed gel before, it is a very runny consistency. And so offhand, it doesn't look like it is going to be able to do anything with clumping your curls, especially if you have tight, super tight curls or a super coarse hair. It seemed, it may feel like uh, this is not gonna do anything for my hair. But last night after I got from up under the dryer, I had a little bit of a cast that I did not break. I did not break the cast. I immediately put on my scarf and uh, had it down like this towards the back. 
and this morning I got up and I just shook it out and these are the results that I have and I am ecstatic about it it is just the look I was going for um, and I will say this sometimes you will hear people say oh that doesn't work because my hair doesn't look like such and such or it doesn't look like how I had it when I used a previous gel where anytime you're using a gel you have to understand uh, what kind of hole you can get from it and if that's a hole that you like to have. If you don't like medium hole gel because you like your hair firm then it is straight up sabotage for you to go and get a medium hole gel expecting firmness. It is just straight up sabotage and you're only doing it to yourself. So <laughs> I am one that I know that I do not prefer firm hole gels. And then I do know that when I use a firm hole gel that I much rather go in with a, a leave-in or something that will decrease that hole or more water. Um, just to decrease that hold a little bit and that's my preference. So anytime that you are styling your hair, you have to know what your desired end goal is because with that knowledge of what you want and what you have, you can work towards getting those desired results. So I hope, I hope, I hope that I in some way helped you with this video, this curl mix system, it ain't going nowhere. I'm so glad to have gotten it again since they have uh, rebranded with new packaging. It is very, very pretty and I love the smell. I just love curl mix. It is a proven system for me as well as a simple system. Anytime I can get in and do my hair from start to finish in an hour and 40 minutes, I am ex. And the fact that I actually had two products on for styling, which is something I hardly ever do, and I'm still able to get it in at an hour and 40 minutes, you just can't top that for me. And I get these results and I've been getting compliments on my hair all day and I feel good about my hair. I love how my hair looks and it is how I I wanted it to be. So this is the end of the video. If you haven't already, please click subscribe and join the family. Hit that notification bell. If you'd like to be reminded of any time that I post a video, click like, leave a comment, and come back and see your girl. Bye, Jules.